We've got this clip here taken from, what's it called? Normal World Podcast featuring, what's his name? Dave Landau, right? Dave Landui. So, um, Brendan Schaub sat down with Dave Landau and, the, and that guy called Quarter Black, I think, right from previously from Stephen Crowder, Lada Crowder. And he had a very interesting revelation about the history, no, the future of Tiger Thick Whiskey, which I'm really curious to see what you guys think in the chat do you believe brendan because i'm not too sure where i stand on this right um i'm gonna put the fucking i'm gonna load up the clip on my side here so it kind of plays in time bear with me a second it's still loading and then i'm gonna put a little poll here because i'm a little bit in between i'm a little bit you know i don't know what to think just yet based on the information available as to what's actually true here. But let me put the question here in the stream chat because I'm curious to see what you guys think because I know I can sometimes be a bit more forgiving to Brendan than some of you guys can be. So let's see what you guys think. Um, uh, is Brendan Schaub telling the truth? Uh, what's his name? What's that guy's name again? about Aaron Rodgers um, investing in Tiger Fick. I want to hear what you guys say. What do you guys say here? Because I'm really curious because I think, I think off the, off the cuff, it's not something you should be, it's, it's a weird lie because it's just too outlandish. Um, so I think there's a more sort of truth to it personally, but let's see what you guys think here. Do you think Brendan Shaw is telling the truth um, about Aaron Rodgers? Aaron Rodgers, yes, the American football fucking player, the fucking quarterback. If he's allegedly, the story is that um, Aaron Rodgers and um, Aubrey Marcus, who are now working together, are going to be investing in Tiger Fick whiskey in some capacity. That's the that's the narrative that Brendan's throwing out here. So let's see what you guys see. Hey, say in the poll. And then in the meantime, I'm going to play the clip of Brendan announcing this on that podcast. That That's the fact that he went to Denver, I think, to meet those guys up for that show to discuss the deal. Let's see. It's been since yeah. 09. Yeah, you're but, quick. Uh, Congratulations. No, I want to, though. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I gave it up because I wanted to live. live. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have to stop because I like I like breathing. Yeah, there's so just something, to up. something yeah. about it. Yeah. Something about turning yellow and you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. boy, you know. we opposite. I sell whiskey, so yeah. do you? Yeah, I have my own whiskey. Yeah, good for Dude, you. That's dope. Yeah. Yep. So do you? Do you like? Uh, I used did to, you find a company I that kept did it, it underneath my car seat. <laughs> 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 I like to brew my own, you know. <laughs> In the what, summer what heat. What were you saying, brother? So, did you work with a company that already had like an established distillery, and no, or did you like start from scratch? Like, how did that start work? from scratch? Yeah, it's like the first to market. Uh, it's uh, the first to market Japanese blended whiskey with American bourbon. Wow. And that's why I was with Aaron and uh, Aubrey because they're going to get involved in the whiskey. Yeah. yeah, very cool. It's cool. Good for you. What's it yeah. called? Uh, Tiger Thick Whiskey. Tiger Thick. Yeah. Oh, nice. I like. That. So, what do you think of the? possibility of this being true so far what are you guys saying in the chat he's saying that aubrey marcus aubrey marcus and aaron rogers are allegedly going to be investing in tiger thick whiskey what do you guys think right aaron rogers american quarterback right um you know what no you know widely regarded as one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time blah 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 blah, blah. kind of controversial now because he's on a conspiracy thing whatever he does blah, blah blah but still very well-known guy right in his own right and then Aubrey Marcus bit of a woo-woo guy but most famous for um being one of the founders of on it um and he's always he's got his own thing going on as well so what do you think is what do you think is the re what do you think is the reality of the situation what's the what's the what's the vote saying here so far do we think Brendan Shaw has the pulling ability to get these two? Because, again, say what you want about Aubrey Marcus's business on it and stuff. He's clearly a good businessman, right? They know what they're doing. On it's obviously fucking snake oil shit, right? Placebo nonsense. It doesn't do what it says on the tin, right? Whatever it may be. But he clearly knows what he's doing. He's got books, successful media thing. He's got a gym, 
whatever shaman stuff he does all that woo woo meditation shit that does well and rogers is clearly getting to that too do you think both of these guys would be into investing into fucking tiger fic do you think these guys would see tiger fic all right whiskey and look at it as a prime business ex- you know that they could maybe tap into do you think that's the case do you think they would see this fucking brand and be like you know what we need some of this we need this in our fucking portfolio of businesses. This is what's going to really take us to our next level. Do we think that's the case? What's people saying in the vote so far? Wow, 79% said no. <laughs> okay, cool. Only 3% think the story is true. Only three. Fucking hell. Okay, cool. Do we think Aaron? Ro- do we think this brand is Aaron Rodgers ready? Do we think it's Aaron Rodgers ready? Oh, look at what he did here. Interesting. Look at this flyer. This is fucking hilarious. So I guess that's why he's got fucking um he had the COVID, he had the tiger thick whiskey bottles in his trunk to give to those two dudes. He's got an alter- he's got an alternate flyer for the show he did in Covina, right? Where it says Brendan Shaw, the fire and the kid Joe Rogan experience, LOL at the bottom. And it's got a special event from the 29th to the t- July the first. But it's Bev it's really vague. Right? It's really vague because it looks like it looks like it's a tasting thing. Right? But it's actually just his comedy show. It's part of his tour. But he's trying to sell it as like a taste thing on the road. So he just took them in the back of his car and just was what? Gonna sell them out there. But what do you guys think? Do you think this brand is Aaron Rodgers ready? 77% of you said no. Fucking hell. You guys don't believe it at all, do you? Because part of me thinks he... Part of me think it's true. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just so gullible. Maybe it's my Christian Catholic fucking upbringing. I just believe shit easily. <laughs> I don't know why, but I just can't believe he'd make up a lie like that. It just doesn't make any sense. Why would you just lie out of the blue that weirdly about something like this? It just doesn't make any sense to me. The Instagram is horrendous, isn't it? There's absolutely no... Um, what's that word called? There's no branding like that, you know, of it at all whatsoever. I don't know who handles this, but the creative direction for it is fucking awful. Like everything about it, like the captions, the fucking pictures, the thumbnails, the graphics. He's doing that fucking awful face he does again. This is one of the worst. This is one of the faces I hate the worst for Brendan. This face that he does that. Like kind of like it's like he's got a cardiac arrest or something. Like what is this face? It's fucking awful. But part of me thinks this is fucking true. What do you guys think here? Because it's like Joe could have hooked him up with this thing. Do we think Aaron Rodgers would be interested in investing into it? Part of me thinks it could be true. Because hear me out. Hear me out. Because maybe there is a barrier of entry or maybe there is unnecessary cost when you're trying to get into the whiskey business. So maybe if they can get into the whiskey business by taking Brendan's brand and rebranding it that's an easy way to do it or maybe taking brendan's whiskey brand and then slowly but surely phasing out tiger fic and introducing other things in because maybe brendan's already got maybe there's like licenses that you have to do before you sell alcohol and liquor and shit that you have to sign up on and if those guys can cut costs and not have to pay for that shit they can maybe then skip some steps and just get straight ready to market and launch some new stuff that's something i'm also thinking about Maybe that's the thing. So Brendan's maybe spinning it because that's what Brendan does really well. He doesn't lie all the way. So maybe what he's spinning, he's making it sound like they're investing into Tiger Fic. But what they're actually doing maybe is that they're investing into um, the brand, like the liquor brand, whatever it is. And then they want to introduce some new products and you know they want to buy him out basically and introduce new products under that fucking banner. Does that make sense? Or my fucking... You know, am, am I trying to excuse the inexcusable here? And he's just lying. 78% still say no. Uh, it looks like he's a face that a preteen would make. He's thanking the man for the breakup. Brendan's grasping at a straw. He's a vegan. Does it? Does he not even drink? Oh, yeah, true. That's a good point. Um, people who lie all the time have to throw some truth into it. It's just so they can remember the story they tell. Yeah, okay, cool. That's fair. But I just don't know if he's like... I don't know if this is, I don't know if he's just if you'd be lying straight up like that's be a weird thing to lie about no don't you guys think they just sat there and just made up the entire thing 
and they're not they're not actually going to be invested in it. Where is the actual? Where, let me go back to that clip again. Uh, it's this right? Yeah. Uh, let's go back to it one more time and hear what he said, and all the way through. But he said something about Aaron Rodgers, right? He's going to be investing into. It. Let's go back again. A car seat. <laughs> <laughs> I like to brew my own, you know, (laughs) in the summer heat. What were you saying, brother? So did you work with a company that already had like an established distillery? Or did you like start from scratch? Like how did that work? Start from scratch. Yeah, it's like the first to market. uh, It's uh, the first to market Japanese blended whiskey with American bourbon. Wow. And that's why I was with Aaron and uh, Aubrey because they're going to get involved in the whiskey. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to get involved in the whiskey. That's why I was with Aubrey and Brian. Now, part of me doesn't believe this because... There's nothing on his Instagram that he was with those guys. Let's just refresh it. And you know one thing about Brendan, he's a fucking he's a he's a, he's as much as a fame whore as fucking Dana White is. So the fact that he was out with Aubrey and Aaron Rodgers, a legit fucking NFL legend and a current player, and he didn't take any pictures with them, anything, no squad pictures, no here's us eating steak, no here's us posing and pretending we're fighting each other, nothing. It makes me doubtful that even a meeting happened. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, man. You know, like there's no pictures whatsoever. He didn't shit. There's not a single picture of him together with those guys. So part of me thinks like this Brendan that we know and love, you know, he was addicted to look, showing himself a certain light on social media. Would he have gone to a meeting with Aaron Rodgers and fucking Aubrey Marcus and not taken a single picture? It doesn't seem likely, does it? It's, it's, Tom said it's a little light to sound cool in the moment and knows the guys won't call him out and it never happened never met him yeah but why would you lie like that that's a weird thing to lie about because if it gets back to Aaron Rodgers what's he going to say like uh no I actually didn't meet him I think Aubrey was meeting him and I was just there like maybe he met Aubrey Marcus maybe I can believe that and maybe Aubrey say hey you should actually meet um Aaron Rodgers he played NFL like you did and then maybe they met each other and they had a couple of words and that was it Oh, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know what to what to think. I'm really in two minds. Maybe they wanted to be silent partners and he just blasted them. Yeah, that's also a good point, Natashki. Maybe that was the case. They actually went they were they actually went to get involved without anybody knowing and he just blew up the spot to sound cool. Aubrey Marcus might actually respond like what the fuck exactly? Yes, I don't know. I don't know what to think. But so far the votes <laughs> are definitely siding to the point of you guys don't believe it. 79% so far saying no, it didn't happen. Um Brendan's completely making the entire thing up. He's a liar, he's a redact. That boy is a liar. Da, 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 da. Right? That's what you guys are saying here in the chat. I can feel it. I can feel it in the air. No one believes this guy in the slight. It's okay, cool. Maybe it's just me, then I'm being too forgiving. I think I'm being way, way, way too forgiving here. Uh, <laughs> oh, maybe the smallest bit of a truth in it. Yeah, I just don't know how somebody can lie about this off the bat. I feel a bit dubious about. Why would you just lie off the cuff about something like this? It sounds like a strange lie just to come out of the blue and just say, "Yep, this didn't happen." I'm gonna say it out of the blue like that straight away. It just seems a bit strange to me. But you know, maybe I'm the redacted one. Maybe I'm the redacted 